Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss about the topic of integration by partial fractions. So today, integration by partial fractions. Partial fractions. So in the previous class we have done integration with the method of substitution. Okay. So we have done problems on integration with the method of substitution. Today we are going to discuss about by integration by partial fraction. Before that we should know the form of the rational form of the rational function. Okay. That is uh, Px square plus Qx plus R divided by x minus a x minus a x square plus dx plus c okay so this is the form of the rational function and this one form of the partial fraction form of the partial partial fraction is a divided by x minus a plus bx plus c divided by this x square plus bx plus c. Okay. So this is the form we are using. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about this form. So px square plus qx plus r divided by x minus c x square plus bx plus c. Uh, if it is this rational function, we have to use this, okay, by using partial fraction a divided by x minus a plus bx plus c divided by x square plus bx plus c, okay. So, this is the form of the partial fraction we are going to discuss now, okay. So, from the question will be like this, integrate 1 divided by x, x square plus 1 dx okay so this is the question so by looking at the problem only we will come to know which method we have to use okay if this is uh, uh, this uh, if the problem is like this we have to use integration by partial fraction okay so we have to consider right 1 divided by x of x square plus 1 is equals to a we have to use this form because it's a quadratic equation here okay it's a quadratic equation a divided by this x plus bx plus c bx plus c divided by x square plus 1 so we have to use this okay we have to use this form after that we need to be adapted 1 is equals to it is the numerator 1 is equals to a of this x square plus 1 plus bx plus c. This is very very important. This bx is a binomial, okay? bx plus c of x. This bx plus c is there for this x also. It is there for this bx plus c is included for this x. We need to be multiply this uh, bx and cx, okay? So, after this, we have to eliminate A and B. To to, I want the value of A here. To get the value of A, this B has to be reduced. Okay? It has to be eliminated. So, how we are going to eliminate? So, to want the value of B, or because there are three unknowns here, the value of A and B and C, we need to be find out. Because there are three unknowns, A, B, C are the unknowns here. We need to be find out A, B, C value. Okay. So let me uh, uh, simplify this one. One is equals to A into A square is what? A x square plus A into one is A plus C. We have to be very careful. This B x into C is what? B x B x into x is x square now b x square okay b x square next c x okay so after this 
after this uh, simplification, if I substitute the value of x is equal to 0, then what will become? x is equal to 0, then it is going to be uh, this uh, 1 is equal to what is this? This uh, this no in the LHS, if I substitute x is equal to 0, uh, all the value is going to be vanished. Okay. A is equal to 1 you get. Because no, here also we will get 0 because x is equal to 0. 0 multiplied by any number is 0. Here is also 0. Here also will get 0. Here also will get 0. LHS constant is there in RHSA. So the value of A is equal to 1. So we have got A is equal to 1. Okay. So we got the value of A. Similarly, we need to be find out the value of B and C here. How to calculate B and C? So to uh, get the value of B and C, we need to be equate the coefficient of x square and x. Okay. Otherwise, you can do it to the coefficient of x square, x and the constant terms also. If we can, if we equate the coefficient of constant term, we will get a is equal to 1. Okay. Because uh, the constant is here 1, a is equal to 1 we will get. Okay. Otherwise, you can substitute put x is equal to 0 also. So, we got a is equal to 1. Similarly, what we have to do? So, equate the coefficient of x square on x equate the coefficient of the coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square here? See, here the x square is there, no? <coughs> that is a. And what is <coughs> the x square coefficient? So, this is b. So, the coefficient of x square is a plus b is equal to 1. <coughs> okay. So, this is a and this is b. So, equate the coefficient of x square with it. There is no x square now, so put 0. So, a. And what is the coefficient of x square here? b. So, what is a value? We have got a is equal to 1. So, 0 is equal to 1 plus b implies b is equal to minus 1. We have got b is equal to minus 1. Okay. <coughs> Next, what else we have to find out? We have to find out the value of c. For that, we have to equate the coefficient of x. Okay. There is no space better let me yes. Okay. Next, we have to find out the coefficient of x. What is coefficient of x? Equate the coefficient of x. So you get, so we have to check this one, 0. What is coefficient of x? C. Okay, because uh, x coefficient is C. So we have got C is equal to 0. Okay. So we got A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 1 and C is equal to 0. So we have to uh, substitute all this value here. Okay. So therefore integral of 1 divided by x of x square plus 1 dx is equal to what is A value? A is equal to 1 divided by x plus B is what? B is minus 1 into x plus c is what? c is 0. We got c is equal to 0. So divided by, so this is b is minus 1 x plus c value is 0 divided by x square plus 1. So this can be written as, so 1 by x, so minus 1 now it is going to be minus 1 into 2x is minus x. So divided by x square plus 1. Okay. So, we have to integrate this one. Okay. So, you can integrate this. So, you can separately, you can write it and integrate. 
So integral of 1 by x dx minus integral of x subjected by x square plus 1 dx. So we have to be integrate like this. Okay. So what is integration of 1 by x? Integration of 1 by x is log modulus x. Okay. Integration of this 1 by x is log modulus x. For that no, in the previous class we have discussed about integration by the method of substitution. So we have to go for method of substitution. Okay. You understood this one? First we have to convert this rational function as partial fraction. Okay. So the rational function, if it is that form, we have to use this partial fraction. A divided by x plus bx plus c divided by x square plus 1. After that, <coughs> we have to write like this. After this, so we have to equate the coefficient of x square, x and the constant term. You will get a value, b value and c value. How we are going to equate the coefficient of x square? So this is b and this is a. So a plus b is equal to 0. Similarly, the, the coefficient of x is only c. So similarly, the coefficient of our constant term is 1. So a is equal to 1. B is equals to 1, B is equals to minus 1 and C is equals to 0. After that you substitute here in this equation, okay. 1 divided by X because A value is 1 now, 1 divided by X plus B is minus 1, X plus C value is 0 divided by X square plus 1. So after that we need to be integrate 1 by X. What is 1 by X integration? That is log modulus X. What is integration of 1 by x? Integration of 1 by x is log modulus x. For this now we have to go for this integration by uh, this is method of substitution. In the previous class we have done now integration by the method of substitution put uh, x square plus 1 is equal to t. So differentiate 2x dx is equal to dt. So x dx is equal to dt by 2. Okay. We have to substitute this one. This is over. Okay. So now modulus x minus what is x dx? x dx, x dx is a dt by 2 into 1 divided by x square plus 1 is t. Okay. So now mod x minus 1 by you keep it outside. So 1 by t dt. Okay. Can you see at this one? So after this, <coughs> so after this, <coughs> log modulus x minus 1 by t log t okay, plus c. So log modulus x minus 1 by 2 log t is 1, <coughs> t is this x square plus 1, okay, x square plus 1 plus some constant, okay, so this is the answer. Okay, this is over.
Next one is integral of 1 divided by x plus 1, x plus 2. x plus 1, x plus 2 is equals to a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 2. So, if it is a linear equation, we have to be right uh, as partial fraction like this. Okay? So, after this, consider 1 is equals to a of x plus 2 plus b of x plus 1. Okay? So, I want the value of a and b. Uh, these are the two unknown values. So, uh, to get the value of b, we need to be cancelling up. The b value should be can, uh, eliminate. How it is going to be eliminated? How is going to be eliminated this uh, value of b? So, if I substitute x is equal to minus 1, no? If I substitute x is equal to minus 1, this is going to be 0. Okay. So then we will get a value. So put x is equal to minus 1. 1 is equal to a of what is x value? Minus 1 plus 2 plus b of minus 1 plus 1. So 1 is equal to a of minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 1 plus b of minus 1 is 0. Plus 1 is 0. So we got a is equals to 1. What is the value of a? We got a is equals to 1. Okay. By this law, we got uh, 1 is equals to a1 plus b of 0. So 1 is equals to a. So a is equals to 1. Similarly, so <coughs> to get the value of uh, a now, this b is over. I want the value of b here, okay. So to get the value of b, this value should get to eliminate. How it is going to be cancelled? If I substitute x is equal to minus 2, no? So then uh, a is going to be 0. So substitute, substitute x is equal to minus 2. In this equation, you will get 1 is equal to a of minus 2 plus 2 plus b of minus 2 plus 1. Okay. This is going to be 0. Okay. 1 is equals to a of 0 plus b of minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So, 1 is equals to minus b. Implies b is equals to minus 1. So, we have got a is equals to 1 and b is equals to minus 1 we have got. Okay. After that, substitute here. Okay. What is a value? a is equal to 1 we have got no, a is equal to 1, 1 divided by x plus 1 plus b is minus 1 divided by x plus 2. Okay, change this one. So what is 1 divided by x plus 1 integral of this minus 1 divided by x plus 2 integral of this. Do you know integral of uh, Integral of 1 by x dx is log mod x. Okay. Similarly, what about this one? This is uh, log mod x plus 1 minus log mod x plus 2. Plus <coughs> we got log modulus x plus 1 minus log modulus x plus 2 plus 3. <coughs> We know that log m minus log n. After this, we have to use log m minus log n. What is log m minus log n? So that is log m by n. So, so how it is going to be by using that formula? Log m 
is divided, right? Yeah. Okay. We will do like this also. So this is the value. So these are all very easy. It will come for three marks in the examination. Okay. So you have to be practice. So we have to consider that 1 divided by x plus 1, x plus 2 is equal to a divided by x plus 1, b divided by x plus 2. After that, a of x plus 2 plus b of x plus 1. Okay, so uh, one by one we have to get the value of uh, a and b. Okay, so if I get the value of b, this a value should be 0. If I get the value of a, b value should be 0. For that we have to substitute x is equal to minus 1. You will get uh, this uh, b value to be 0. If I substitute x is equal to minus 2, this a is going to be 0. So we will got uh, a, b value. Okay. After that, uh, substitute like this, 1 divided by x plus 1 plus this is a value or this is b value. We know that integral of 1 by x to x is log mod x. So similarly, integral of 1 divided by x plus 1 is log mod of x plus 1. Similarly, integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 is log mod of x plus 2. Okay. After that, we know the uh, logarithmic uh, formulas. So that is uh, log m by n is equals to log m minus log n. So we use this, okay, to get rid of this log m minus log n. So we can do this form, okay. So log m by n plus 6. So, the integrals now we have done uh, indefinite uh, integrals by using indefinite integrals formula. Uh, we have done simple simplification for 1 marks and 2 marks. And in the previous class, uh, integration by the method of substitution we have done. And uh, this one is integration by partial fractions. Next, we will go for next problem. <coughs> Next problem is integral of x divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, and x. Okay? <coughs> we have to consider let, let x divided by x minus 1, x minus 2. So it is also a linear equation. If it is a linear equation, we have to use uh, the partial uh, fraction form is a divided by this x minus 1 plus b divided by x minus 2. So first we should learn how to write that form. Okay. After that, what is x is equal to x is equal to a of x minus 2 plus b of x minus 1. Okay, same. Similarly, we have to do it for um, the substitute x value to get the value of a and b. We have to cancel it up one by one. If I get the value of oh, this, uh, no, this a value, then it has to be rated as 0. Uh, this, uh, that means uh, b value has to be 0. So, what will be b value uh, is going to be 0? If I substitute x is equal to 1, no? if I substitute this uh, x is equal to 1, it is going to be 0. So, put x is equal to 1, then what is this equation is going to be? So, x is equal to 1, a of, what is x value? 1 minus 2 plus uh, b of x is 1 minus 1. 
So 1 is equals to a of 1 minus 2 is what? Minus 1 plus b of 0. So 1 is equals to minus a we have got minus a plus b is equals to b is 0 because 0 into b is 0. So we got a is equals to minus 1. We got a is equals to minus 1. <coughs> Okay. So next we have to find out the value of B. Uh, how it is going to be uh, to get the value of B? This has to be 0 for that to put x is equal to 2 in this equation. So you will get 2 is equal to A of 2 minus 2 plus B of 2 minus 1. Okay. So this uh, 2 is equal to this is going to be 0 plus b of 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So 2 is equal to b implies b is equal to 2. We have got a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 2. You understood this one? So it is very easy, okay? You have to practice it. So try to learn this statement equation, how to write this equation. If it is linear equation, you have to write the partial fraction like this. If it is the quadratic equation, I told you a divided by x plus bx plus c divided by ax plus bx plus c form you have to use, okay? Uh, this one is a divided by x minus a plus b divided by x minus b form. So after that, uh, get the value of a and the value of b. It is very easy, okay. Uh, if, if you want the value of a means it has to be uh, 0, no? Here already minus 1 is there, plus 1, plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So similarly, if we substitute x is equal to 2, this is going to be 0. So we we'll get a and b value. So substitute in the equation. <coughs> So then it is going to be x divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, dx is equal to, what is a value? What we got a value? a is minus 1, no? minus 1 divided by x minus 1 plus b is equal to 2 divided by x minus 2. Okay. So dx, so this can be written as minus 1 divided by x minus 1 integral of dx plus 2 divided by x minus 2 integral of dx. Okay. Over. So this can be written as minus law x minus 1. Now x minus 1. This in this 2 is constant. After that you will get 1 divided by x minus 2. That is uh, log x minus 2. Some constant c. This is integration of this. I have told you integration of log 1 by x is mod x. Okay. Plus c. We are using this minus c. Take it. 1 divided by x minus 1 integration is log. Uh, this one already uh, have used the uh, integral of 1 by x dx is equal to log mod x okay? plus c. We are using here that is uh, log uh, mod x minus 1. This minus is over and here plus 2 log mod x minus 2. So we know that uh, in the logarithmic uh, equation of what is n log x which is equals to log x raised to n. We, we have already learned these equations, logarithmic equations. Then this is going to be so this is going to be this can be written as minus log x minus 1 plus this 2 log x minus 2 n log x we can use that that is log x minus 2 
square is going to be log x minus 2 whole square plus 3. So this is uh, log x minus 2 square plus 3. This is minus minus log x minus 1 plus 3. So what is the uh, Hamilton divided by this log m minus log n is equal to log m by n. So we can use that, okay. So that is uh, log x minus 2 whole square. So this is log mod x minus 1 plus c is the value. Okay. So these are all the important for <coughs> questions. Uh, for three marks, it is coming in the examination. Okay, so you have to go back to this. You, you should know all the formulas: log n minus log n is equal to log n by n. Similarly, n log x is equal to log x raised to n. So these are all the important uh, formula: log x y. Log of x y is equal to log x plus log y. Okay. So these are all the important uh, logarithmic. Uh, uh, formulas. So we are all using wherever the word now, wherever the uh, substitution is required, we are going to apply those uh, logarithmic equations. We are also used for so many trigonometric functions now, we are used uh, the trigonometric identities while solving this uh, integration of trigonometric functions. We are used so many integration that is uh, trigonometric identities. So these are all the formulas we have to be remember. Okay. So this is uh, x to the power x minus 1, x minus 2. So try to learn how we are going to simplify this one, okay? In the next class we are going to continue it.